Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fish and Fun. Here at Fish and Fun, we sell Ranger Boats and Lance Campers. The star of today's show is going to be the 2019 Lance 855S right behind me over here. This is a used camper that I have in. It's listed at $30,900. It is made to fit 250 and 350 series trucks. Mostly going to be over your 250 payload limit, but uh, should be within a 3500, 350. Uh, I'm just kind of telling you what it fits. You know, I don't have a crystal ball tell me what your truck's payload is, so it's your responsibility to check your door jam and decide if this camper's going to be the right fit for you. Uh, but like I said, it is made for 250 and 350 series short bed single rear wheel trucks. So you make the judgment call if you think it's going to work with yours. Uh, and like I said, this thing is $30,900. Uh, it's $35,000 less than a new one. So that should tell you that it's not the prettiest thing out there. It's got some graphics missing on the front. It's got uh, some tears on the seats in there. But like I said, it's $35,000 less. So it can't be too picky. Uh, it has a book for 47 grand, so it leaves you plenty of room to make uh, You know any adjustments that you want to make to it good news is is it does not leak It's been through multiple monsoons here in Tennessee already since its arrival uh, So we quickly figured out that it does not leak and everything seems to function and work as it should I'm even proud to say that it's got the uh, happy jack jacks around all four corners They are these are electric so it's got the good jacks on it and not the outdated discontinued Atwoods so that is good news. As you can see up close here, I'm not going to hide anything for the video because I don't want people griping at me when they get here to look at it. You can see that the previous owner has painted over some rust here on the uh, jack support. This has nothing to do with the structure of the camper as the structure is built out of aluminum and aluminum doesn't rust. So doesn't seem to have any water damage down the side, any del delamination or anything like that. And it's got the new up-to-date nose cone, being that they did that in 2019, so. Uh, let's see, we'll go down the sides. As you can see here, this being a 2019, this is back when they had the glass windows instead of the dual pane acrylic, which these are dual double pane glass, but um, tinted glass, I might add. Uh, so that would help keep it cooler inside, but they do not kick out as far as the acrylic windows. Only downside to them, really. Uh, we got the rubber bumpers here on the front, the battery vents, this being an 855S, it'll have two batteries inside. This is the Lance plug here on the side, uh, being that this is a used unit, the plug has already been used that come with the camper, so um, good news is, is we keep those in stock here, so we would be able to still supply you with that and hook you up with it. There we go, make it nice and neat there on the side. Like I said, these are four uh, all electric jacks. You can do one at a time, two at a time, or all four. Side to side, front to back, don't matter. Let's see. You've got two 20 pound propane tanks with this unit. Uh, stuff that's gonna run off the propane is gonna be things like uh, the generator that's on board, the stove, and the furnace. This right here is for your onboard fresh water tank. We'll go over tank capacities here in a minute. This right here is where you plug in your 30, uh, 30 amp shore power plug. Being that this is a 2019, it has the uh, six gallon water heater. Sorry if I was talking a little slow, I was looking for wasps. They generally like to hang out in places like that, but good to see they're not in there. We've got our outdoor shower for everybody that likes to give their fellow campers a show. You can use that for rinsing off your feet as well. You got sandy feet, muddy feet, whatever. Let's see, there's our city water connection. Just plug in right there for city water. And then you got your black water flush right here and your parking satellite connections. Down in the right corner here, we've got our main dump. All these right here are going to be your fresh water lines. Uh, let's see, drain for the fresh water tank and cold and hot water lines. Gray water, black water. Your gray tank's going to be 20 gallon capacity. Black water is going to be 25 gallon capacity. And your fresh water is going to be 30 gallons. 
so you can carry up to 30 gallons of fresh water on the go with you all right here we are at the back of the camper we've got us a manual rear awning here on the back that's an added option and this this camper right here practically has every added option that you could do for 2019 like a backup camera rear awning patio docking lights uh, onboard generator solar panel i mean it, it's got just about everything you could add for 2019 2019 excuse me this right here is going to be where you hide your sewer hose if i had a quarter on me i'd open up that up and show you but you got a little tube in or a, a little slot in there that you put the tube in and push it on down in there it goes all the way through this bumper uh, like i said you got your docking lights here on the back patio lights those are two-way you're going to have an amber light and a white light this one also has the four season package uh added on that was an added feature for 2019 as well before it went standard in 22 so uh, it is four season certified what that means is you have the heated basement as long as you have the furnace going you're going to be supplying heat to the basement which is going to supply heat around your holding tanks water lines and all that good stuff all right this being the 855s model the s stands for slide out so your slide out is going to be on your campground side good thing about that is it opens up away from the highway if you were to pull over on the side of the road has the uh, slide out topper added that way you don't have to get on top of the roof and sweep that thing off every time you roll it in this thing won't, no. there's the 30 amp plug what else is in there looks like a little sewer ending and stuff anyways you got a little bit of storage over here the other side of this you're going to find the dinette uh, you well the dinette the bench seatings on top of this and then you have pull out drawers on the other side of these Access to the inside of the camper which allows heat out here. So even these compartments are heated and insulated Magnetic holders at the top, which is nice All right, that's uh pretty much it on the outside of the camper Let's uh, move on to the inside See, little things like that that's what you're going to find you know it's all just cosmetic stuff but i mean like i said it's thirty-five thousand less than the new one if all this bothers you maybe you just need to spend a little bit of extra money and get you something something that you really want but you got a little bit of it's not really tears just stuff coming off which was really common with this roadster interior from sliding up on it got a little bit of that like vinyl stuff coming off like I said, I want you to see everything on this camper before you get here. That way, you know, there's nothing to complain about. It's a good camper. And like I said, it doesn't leak. So that's a really good thing about it. But uh, so for 2019, they had Roadster. They had Mystic Shores, I believe. And they had Passage Interior. This one's the Roadster. The other two are cloth uh, materials. Uh, this one's the only like pleather design so it was a really popular color has the fold down bunk bed those are rated for about 200 pounds it's good for uh you know if you have a child that goes with you and need an extra place to sleep for them or you could use it for storing everything that you're going to take out at the campsite once you get there you can store it up there and then you know put everything outside and get it up out of the way we have uh, day and night shades on this as well. Oh, golly, there's a stink bug hanging out. There's the day shade, then you got the night shade. Little magazine rack on the back of it. I'm not even sure if they do that anymore for these. All the original Lance books. And then you also have the uh, little covers for the vents here on top backup camera and then same over here all right let's uh, check out the bathroom so the 855s is actually the only camper that I can still access the bathroom with the slide in reason being is it's because of this genius design right here the sliding door if the Lance 1062 had a sliding door, I'd be able to get to the bathroom in it too, but they did not think that through, unfortunately. 
they put like a coat rack back here or something like that some switches but uh, what i like about the 855s is the wet bath is actually a fully fiberglass wet bath there's no seams or anything like that to create leakage it is a fully one piece drop in fiberglass bath and you got yourself a built-in bidet definitely comes in handy right there no toilet paper needed although they still supply you with a toilet paper holster will sink then you got your medicine cabinet behind the mirror slide close so now we're going to move on to the kitchen the uh, kitchen looks nice, although you, I'd probably swap these out. These are bent up a little bit. Uh, backsplash is good. Got the three burner stove top here. Uh, this is removable to make for easy clean. Then you've got your little oven as well. Looks like you could fit a good size DiGiorno pizza in there. Double separated sink. Let's see where, there we go. And then a little bit of storage underneath the sink. There's one of your bypass points in the back if you wanted to winterize it. We'll go over all that stuff if you wanna buy it. No reason to do a winterization video today. This is not a storage compartment. This is just access to your uh, water heater. And like I said, on the outside it is a six gallon. There's another bypass point. You only have two of those couple pull out drawers they're soft clothes closet and then you can actually get your true weight somewhere inside this camper I thought it was going to be oh, right, right here all right so right here this is going to tell us uh, somewhere okay so wet weight of this camper is going to be three thousand six hundred and sixty five pounds if you want your dry weight, you subtract 289 pounds and that puts you a little over 3,300 pounds dry. So like I said, check your door jam, make sure you got the truck to haul this thing. And if not, then you know, Lance does make other lighter campers that we could pair you with. Microwave, more storage. Here's a smoke detector. See that right there? Usually this would help to hold it up, but that doesn't hold it up. Uh, let's see, the auto-locating satellite, that was an added option. Uh, it's about an $1,100 extra option as well. Generator, 45.6 hours. I don't even know if you consider that hardly broke in or not. But uh, yeah, 45.6 hours, uh, runs off the propane, and that's about a $5,000 option. Got your onboard water pump if you're pulling from the fresh water tank. Water heater can be rain on both gas or electric. Battery levels, fresh water, black water, gray water. And like I said, fresh water is gonna be 30 gallon capacity, gray water uh, 20 and black water 25. Pretty good sized TV right there. It's a Jensen TV. Uh, let's see, Jensen radio as well. A little bit of storage there original mattress I think that might be original I'm not really sure another closet a little storage over there to the right and to the left let's check for outlets okay so we got AC outlets over here and AC outlets and DC USB outlets as well over here. So the CPAP users, you don't have to share a plug-in. You've got one on both sides of the bed. And a skylight so your feet can see the stars at night. See, now we got us a five cubic foot fridge. This is a three-way fridge, runs off of gas, AC, and DC. Pretty good size. That's uh, about it. Oh, shoot wind got my door over there but that's about it well that's all i got for you on this 2019 lance 855 s that we got in um like i said it's not the prettiest camper you know it's got some uh, messed up graphics on it and 
a little bit of rub wear on the uh, seats inside but I mean heck it's thirty five thousand dollars less than a new one if that stuff bothers you that much I got two new ones over here that I'll be more than happy to sell you at 65 and that's fifteen thousand dollars off so um, practically giving them away right I guess you could say but uh, anyways like I said this is the 2019 Lance 855s if you're in the market for a used camper Give me a call at 423-892-6272. If you're in the market for a new camper, I have plenty of those as well. So I can definitely help on both uh, ends of the spectrum there. Um, but like I said, this is made to fit a, a 250 or 350 series short bed single rear wheel truck. And yes, the tailgate does need to come off. All of Lance's truck campers is suggested for the tailgate to be removed. And it's not suggested to put short bed campers and long bed campers. Um, I get all sorts of questions, so I'm just gonna go ahead and answer them. So if you ask after this video, I know that you didn't watch the whole thing. Uh, but the price is $30,000, $900. I think they have it listed at $30,999 on the website. So watching this video just gave you a $99 discount. You are very welcome. Uh, but again, my name's Brad. I'm over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fund and i need to do more videos so until uh, next time y'all take care stay safe and i'll catch you on the next one